Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart one of these magnetrons. Find them in all microwaves, they're a great place to get scrap material. They have copper, they have brass, they have aluminum. They have actually two very powerful magnets that you can use while scrapping. However, they can also be very dangerous if not used or handled properly. And that's because the inner core, I've already taken one out of a magnetron, you can just see it on the bottom here. They have two ceramic strips. This one has two white ones. This one actually has two purple ones. And inside those ceramic strips, they can have beryllium. Uh, not all microwave magnetrons have beryllium. However, when you're scrapping, you cannot tell the difference um, when you're scrapping it or not. So it's better to treat all of them the same uh, with the same caution. And the reason beryllium is so dangerous is because if it is crushed open and releases the beryllium dust, you can get what is called beryllosis, which is a metal poisoning. It could lead to lung cancer, uh, increased chance of pneumonia, and other, other harmful lung diseases and effects. So definitely a very dangerous thing. Someone might ask me then, why are you handling the ceramic uh, without gloves on and without a mask? And again, as I said, intact, it is harmless, okay? I can touch this no problem. It is only when it is crushed or um, broken open that it could release the beryllium. I actually had a friend, fellow scrapper, give me a mini panic attack when he said that he tackled the magnetron the other day with a hammer, uh, which is definitely the wrong way to do it. If you, uh, you know, have any chance of cracking that ceramic, it's definitely not a good thing. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take this apart safely, hopefully show you how to effectively do it quickly, uh, efficiently, and more importantly, to avoid any type of potential to crack that ceramic, okay? So here we go. The first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna actually remove the top faceplate. It is actually just a sheet of steel crimped in. So I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm just gonna actually just kind of work at it, pull it up. Okay, I've already actually started one side, but there it is. And it releases, as you can see inside, two copper spools. You can actually also see the um, pink ceramic in there as well, so I don't want to touch that, but I am going to cut the copper off of here. The first thing I'm going to do, okay, I want to get that off. Okay. And as you can see, there are two small pieces of copper wire right here. Uh, this has coating on it. This will actually go into my number two copper, which is currently about $3.50 a pound right now. I do have to get it off of the um, magnetic steel part there. So it just unravels very nicely, comes off. This will go into my metal, this will go into my number two. Okay, and now what I actually wanna do is I'm gonna turn it over to this side. You can see there's a really nice brass uh, ring there. Unfortunately, uh, it is not gold, sorry dad. Uh, but uh, I wanna remove this steel faceplate. And as you can see, it has two, um, little clamps on both sides. I just want to work those up first. Uh, and all I do is I just take a pair of pliers and kind of bend them, the first thing I'm gonna do. And when I do that, you can see I've kind of exposed a little bit of uh, a slit there. So I'm just gonna put it in my vise right now. I'm gonna take a, uh, just a screwdriver and a hammer. And I'm actually just going to uh, stick it in there and pop it up. Okay, and I cracked it open. So, not done yet. This is going to remove the face plate. As you can see, that is steel, okay? And inside here now, you can see there is the brass. So I'm just gonna quickly pop that off, okay? And I, again, there is the beryllium piece, okay? There's brass, not much, but it's still brass. There is a nice large magnet here that has a little f piece of steel. I have to quickly get that steel off. So I'm just gonna pull that up, slide it out. Uh, sometimes you have to use a screwdriver and it's hard to do when you're using a magnet, but it will come off. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna slide that off. So a piece of steel, 
There is a magnet. Being a teacher, I actually bring all of these into school. I give them to teachers and they put them uh, on their uh, blackboard holding up chart paper. So really, really powerful magnet there. There's two of them in here, okay? And as you can see right here, I have some aluminum plates, okay? And all I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna fold, first of all, the steel here using some muscle power, okay? And they will not come off easily, but because I cut the bottom copper, I'm actually gonna pull this whole thing out, all right? So there's some metal, there is another uh, magnet. So now I have two very strong magnets. You gotta be very careful. I, have, I had a student that actually took the magnets and the dad said, be careful. And before that got out of his mouth, he unfortunately pinched his fingers between them. So these are very, very powerful magnets. So they're gonna go to school now. The rest of this is going to go into my steel. And I do have right here on the end, a little bit of brass handle. Okay, if I pull this off, there is a little bit of brass that I can take. Um, I gotta make sure, first of all, it's not magnetic. It is magnetic, so actually that is steel, so it's gonna go in my steel. So this is all steel. Okay, and now I have my core, okay? And I wanna be very careful. Before I take this aluminum off, what I wanna do is I want to avoid any chance of cracking this or scratching it while I'm handling it. So I'm actually just gonna take some masking tape and put that around both ends, okay? Just to help in case anything happens, I screw up uh, somehow, you know, um, with um, maybe my knife or my grinder, okay? So I'm just gonna actually wrap this just as an extra protector on both sides. Okay, I've seen some guys handling this, again, without tape, but in my opinion, being safe is definitely way better. Uh, you know, err on the uh, side of caution, okay? Just as an added bonus. And there are a couple ways to take these aluminum plates off. I can actually just take a pair of pliers and cut those off. Um, but I find the more efficient way is actually just to take an angle grinder. I'm just gonna cut right down this and open it up. Okay, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, so give me a second with my angle grinder, and I'm going to just make an incision all the way down. I gotta make sure it's plugged in first of all. That's uh, gonna help. All right, so I'm gonna get this right now. take this aluminum off and all I'm just gonna do because now it's cut through just gonna bend it off and fold them there is one plate okay one two now this aluminum would count as clean aluminum currently in Canada right now this clean aluminum is going for 40 cents a pound. There's definitely not a pound here, okay? But, definitely adds up, okay? So I've got aluminum. So four of these, sometimes you'll get five of them. And what's interesting now about this, and I have to give a shout out to my UK friends. I did not know this until uh, I started talking to them. But what's interesting is this inner core, I'm gonna turn it to show you, is actually copper. Okay, so this is copper, this is metal, okay? Uh, if I take a magnet, you could see the ceramic does have copper in it, but if I take this up to the camera, right at the seal there, that is where the copper meets the aluminum, or sorry, the steel. And that is a really nice chunk of copper, okay? And I've seen them with an angle grinder do it, I'm gonna do it as well. He will put a mask on, he will put uh, a face shield on, but they do not cover these. And again, that is my addition to his, um, his technique. So Snobby Scrapper, uh, shout out to you, my friend, and uh, Ian Matthews and all you other UK um, scrappers and subscribers and supporters. You guys have all been awesome in, in all the UK. Um, you know, so definitely great to learn from all of you and to kind of 
you know, share in this. So again, I've already put the tape on it. I'm just gonna actually put this into my angle grinder. Okay, and I'm going to actually just use my angle grinder and go down the side. Okay, and I am, even though I have tape on it, I am also going to make sure that I put on uh, goggles. I'm gonna put on a mask just in case, because as I said, the copper is definitely not worth my health. Okay, so, I'm gonna first of all do that, put that. sparks copper does not spark so I was actually too um, far over uh, to the steel so I'd have to make sure I bring it in a little bit so that's definitely important that I do because if I have steel on here it's kind of defeating the purpose of getting the copper Getting in my way here. Snobby Scrapper definitely did a way better job on that. But, as you can see, there is, inside there, there is the copper. And I'm just going to pull this off with a pair of pliers. Um, it is warm, so you want to be very careful. Okay, so these are now going to go into my steel pile. There was a pin that was inside of it. I think that's where the magnet was, or the, the sparks were coming from. But, there are my two, I guess you can actually even call these dirty copper because there is still a little bit of copper in there, but not worth my health or my risk of my, you know, for a couple pennies. Inside there, there is some copper. And that is, just to sum this up, if I was to take a magnet, where is my magnet? <laughs> I just had my magnet. There it is. Okay, so that is a nice piece of copper now. It is warm, so I gotta make sure I have my gloves on. Okay, so just to recap again, some metal, this is now gonna go into my metal pile. Some copper here. Okay, so it's about five ounces of copper. Okay, so not much, but definitely uh, copper. I have some nice pieces of aluminum. I have a ring of brass, I have some metal, okay, and I have two really, really nice magnets. Again, I have not cracked the beryllium, so this is now safe, which is great, okay, and I'm hoping this was interesting, hopefully this, this was an effective way for you to scrap your magnetron, to be cautious of the beryllium. Please comment down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.